Hey there Mission Control, thanks for joining in. This is going to be a pretty fast video. I just wanted to give you a quick update on uh, pretty much the hardest decision we've had to make since we decided to go ahead and start working on this uh, project of ours. And that is, uh, what is the results of the trade study for heating? The insulation one, we've already made the decision we're going with a purpose-built uh, insulation. And uh, so today I was out here and I actually got uh, all my measurements done. Uh, for that insulation, so I just got to send it off to them and in about four weeks from now it'll show up, so sometime in early September. And uh, the results of the trade study are, drum roll, brrr, propane. So, as you know, we thought long and hard about this, had a lot of inputs. Uh, geothermal is really what we wanted to do, but the risk of that level of investment and the debt that we would have to take on are too high uh, for us right now. Not that other people wouldn't make the decision, but uh, for us, it just makes us too uncomfortable. So we're deciding to go with propane because it has such a lower cost of installation. And in contacting my local propane company, uh, we're gonna get some pretty good negotiated prices. And we're gonna install a single uh, 300,000 BTU heater right above me. And it's gonna be aimed right into the building. Now, that's a lot bigger heater uh, than we need. We need about 75,000 BTU. Uh, we went with this one for a few reasons. First, another customer of his bought it, uh, and he ordered it, and the customer backed out of the deal. So now he's just trying to get his cost back. So we're, we're getting a really good deal uh, from him. And second, if the insulation or goes bad or gets a hole or something, and we do need the full 300,000 BTU, which is what we would need without insulation, or with really bad insulation, uh, we have it. And second, we're only going with a single one rather than two because they are very reliable. And if we if it does go down, we have our diesel heaters from last year that we'll use as backup. So uh, it was a really, really hard decision. It took us a long time to think through it. Lots of phone calls. I called two different geothermal companies. And uh, one of the big things that, besides the cost of geothermal that made me think twice about it is the maintenance of it and what if something goes wrong there's no maintainer in the local area uh, so we would have to call someone from the big city uh, an hour or so away uh, to come out here in the middle of winter when things are really bad uh, probably not going to happen right just too big of a risk right now uh, so we'll see how it all goes uh, august 25th is the insulation date so i'm excited about that we're also getting a wi-fi thermostat uh, meaning it'll be connected to our Wi-Fi here and we can control it with our smart devices from up at the house. So when Mrs. Martian wants to come out here, uh, she doesn't have to come out here to a, a colder building. She can actually crank it up for a little bit and come out to a nice warm building, which relatively speaking will be like 60, 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, but that'll be way better than negative eight outside. So she's gonna be a pretty happy camper about that. It's family reunion week, so I'm not going to get videos up all the time, and I'm not going to have a lot of time to edit, but I do have some things I want to throw up for you guys uh, to see, so it'll kind of be a single shoot uh, with minimal editing just to get you guys the information. Uh, I hope you like that. I hope it's okay. I'm going to go spend time with family here. We're really excited to have them all here. The whole clan is coming. Uh, it's going to be awesome. So I hope you enjoyed watching this quick video update. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. In the meantime, everyone, this is Real Martian. I'm going to jump in the pool. Out.